So, if we're going to collect limpets, what you need first is low tide. And the stretch of beach like this is perfect. Let's walk on down the beach and have a look and see where we're going to find these limpets. Here's the low tide mark. Well, sort of end of shingle onto the sand where the beach then levels out. Now, let's go out where the digger is. There's a the cockle. And we're not looking for cockles. Right, so we're out right along to the water's edge and we'll see what we can find out here. Are lifting them up and dropping them. So we've got a little pool here, look with the bank there. So obviously get washed over the bank and then they settle down here and make a life in this pool. Which unfortunately I'm going to cut short for them. Ah, there we go. There's our first one. There we go. Ah, show them what it's what we're looking at, Jim. There they go, all joined together, look. There we go, in the bucket. We found a whole nest of them there. There's quite a few scattered, scattered about here. I think I'm gonna find all that I want. So, because if you do slip, you're in trouble. And then it's just a case of putting the, the blade into, the, the, I suppose you'd call it a knuckle of the, the of the um, shellfish and just give it a twist. There you go, and then very gently, very gently, and then you need to take it away from that edge as well. And there we go, we're ready to go. And load the hook up, it doesn't matter how many you put on, the more you put on, the more time the crabs have got to eat it before the fish comes along. And there you go. Let's have a look, Jib. There you go. Nice four-pane bass, can it? Well done, mate. That's a beauty. That That's is very a beauty. Close.